when you have goals, you got to plan. Earth turned out really well because God planned it. And the grass is still short right now. Short grass detector can go down further, okay? You can swing the coil right at the base of the dirt. It's a beautiful thing this time of year. And in most cases, because of coin sinkage and because of sodding over, deeper targets are very often older targets. We don't have the snow problems that we had in February. And I'm going for 300 silver coins pulled this year, which would be a record for me. I believe my uh, record from last year was 220, somewhere in the 220s. I got to look back. But this year, we need 300. We're also going for 100 rings, 50 of them gold. Good luck with that. Uh, I'm getting help with that goal. I'm teaming up with Gone Diggin, Matt. But um, the 100 rings I gotta get myself. But the uh, 50 gold rings, the moon's gonna explode if I don't. If you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, just, just look at the link. Yeah, yeah, well, it, it, this'll explain it. Uh, right up here, just hit the I button. You might remember the cat gods from last year. This is the year of the trash panda. The cat gods are hibernating. At least so far, anything can happen. But trash pandas blowing up the moon, that's the main threat this year. Stay tuned. But anywho, we're going for the silver gold today. We are somewhere, it's either 48 or 49 we have found on the year. So we're a good portion of the way to the 300. But let's go a little further. Yeah. It's fun to go down that rabbit hole, metal detecting. We found Jeff. How you been, buddy? It's been a minute. It has been a minute. Snow and uh, vacations. What's yes. up? What's going on, my Good man? Good to see you. You too, brother. Any luck today? Yeah, I got some, two marks so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had a little bit of a dry spell, so this was uh, a good break. Good. Yeah, I went on uh, some missions and uh, came up short. Okay, well, glad you right. snapped that today. There you go. Merc. Oh, let's Mercantilism. Go. Mercantilism. Let's go. Let's do this. I'm actually trying without the headphones for a little while. My ears were cooking. It was great to see Jeff again, but why was he cooking his ears? <laughs> I don't get it. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I've gotten quite used to the headphones. I don't me know too. how I it... like them, and now it's weird without them. I just took them off. It bothers me watching my videos without the headphones, though. You guys continue to let me know in the comments what you think. It definitely helps my detecting, but, you know, in terms of viewership for the videos, I get it. <laughs> <sighs> Tough call. I wonder if there is a pair of headphones that you can actually hear, and it also blasts out the sound. Uh, the uh, XP Deus actually does that. You can, you know, uh, bypass the headphones, and you can hear everything while having headphones on. Long story short, I'm able to predict the shape of an object. There's a different sound when something is circular than if something is, you know, like uh, linear, something is like a pipe. Um, I, I can hear the difference in sounds. I I'm getting to that point. All right, good signal. Five arrows down. We got the big coil on again. Want to say thank you to Mel for fixing this. Did a much better job than even MindLab would have done. Let's dig. Oh, geez, look at this old piece of copper. Okay, on to the next. 1960 something penny. All right, another 60s penny. This is 1963. Basically, I'm looking at the site and I'm at this point, I'm trying to figure out what's Phil. You know what's been altered and uh, again I'm looking for consistency of dates uh, and depths and you know I know the place that we're at uh, the building was built uh, in the 1940s uh, and there was uh, uh, farmland before this so you know really we could be on something that's pretty good All right, signal jumping around five arrows down.
localized pinpoint. Let's see. All right, 1966 dime, we got about, well, six inches down. 1970 penny, maybe about, well, five inches down. All right, this one's gonna be telling. Four to five arrows down. Hops up to 27. More likely a weedy. Not even that, 1971. Hmm. Got one below the plug. And sounding really good. I think I just saw it. Yeah, I got it. Oh, jeez. Just another penny. Hmm. 81. Oh, jeez. This was mixed up. Hmm. Usually, I am the only entity, living thing, that is mixed up on a field. But in this case, it became pretty clear that the dirt was tampered with. Now, Jeff had found two silver dimes, and he told me earlier that they weren't necessarily super deep. So my hypothesis was that the dirt got stirred, but they did not bring in new dirt. So that's, that's a plus. Yeah, it's a quarter. This was mm, three or four inches down though, and we're talking mm, 2001. This park has deep stuff, but it's deep, relatively new stuff. I didn't mind the 1960s, 1970s. That's right in the silver range. You know, like right now we're getting copper, wheat scents, not wheat scents. Well, actually, yeah, we are getting wheat scents in change. Where are you? But it's like the, the copper coins are being phased out. Dimmy. Um, you know, it's it was like that with silver in the 1970s. It's like, or 60s. It's like, oh, silver dime, big deal. That's the norm. So we, we uh, I didn't mind being in that area that uh, was 60s and 70s, but if I'm getting deep stuff from the 90s and 2000s, that's a problem. This is up to 27, 28, 29. I know from testing uh, silver dimes, the modern silver dimes, the Mercs and the um, Roosevelt silver dimes, they ring up a little bit higher. That's not the case with barbers and, uh, not all barbers, barbers and um, seated. This is an important tip. This has been settled in my head. You might remember that I did the Equinox uh, VDI chart. I also did that with the Simplex. And I've experimented with other detectors too, but not as extensively. It is presumed that silver is going to ring up a little bit higher than a clad dime a, a cl or a copper penny. That is not always the case. I leave you these videos up here. I, I will uh, put the I button there so that you can see for yourself. If you don't believe me, if you're one of those people that's just like, oh, I, I need to see it, blah, blah, blah. I tested a bunch of different coins. We're talking about uh, barbers and seated, significantly lower than Mercs and um, and Roosevelt silvers. So the older silver, it, it rings up very differently than more modern silver. You need to know that. And I sure can't speak on um, cap bust. Never found one. But, uh, you know, a tip for oh, anybody who's... You got something good? Yeah. I'll be right there. A tip for modern silver dimes is uh, they ring up a little bit higher. I, Rosies and Mercs, a little bit higher. We're talking 27, 28 on the Knox. Wow, hold on. Jeff got something good. 
old farm before this. Yep. Yeah, James R. Hole. Polk. Yeah. Polk. Sorry. Whoa. Pocahontas. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, that was unexpected. That was definitely unexpected. James R. Polk. Wow. I was like, is it a quarter? And then I'm like, nope, not a quarter. That's pretty Clean sweet. That. Cool, yeah. Something different. Wonder what the uh, age is on that. Uh, it's on the top here. Uh, well, no, but that, that was his term. His term. Oh, yeah, yeah. you know, I'll have to look it up and clean it up a bit. But Yeah, that doesn't look like one of the shell ones. It's been in the dirt a while. That's for damn sure. There you go. Pound Thanks, that. I do believe I'm on the board. This could be a ring. Hogging does. Been unlocked. Could be a ring. It could be totally off. Sneak a peek. I think that looks that's like a, a ring. ring. That looks like a ring. Come on, man. Oh yeah. That's a oh, ring. Oh yeah. Look at that. Ooh. That's an old ring. Ooh. Wow, that's so cool. Look at that thing. There you go. Nice. Look, that is old. That's a definitely crap. old vintage. Vintage. And if you see the inside, it's got, let's see what the marking is. Yeah. 925, and it's got, this is cool, man. Nice job, look at that. Echo Bell has been unlocked for both of us, technically, yeah. since I held it Correct. on its unearthing. Let's do it. That's yeah. my proxy. I get Taco Bell by proxy. I, I like that rule. Let's do that. <laughs> Let's do that, buddy. <laughs> nice job, My treat. Man. Thanks, buddy. Fun. Quite happy with this one. This is a design you really don't see nowadays. Still got the dirt on it. Do, uh, do something about that. I see. All right, I cleaned it. Nine two five. Definitely could use some polishing. That's awesome. Nice little ring. Oh, it's spreadsheet time, people. Spreadsheet time. So, in terms of silver, that moves us up to 70. And 100 rings moves us up to 15. Making progress on the 100 rings. I think we're ahead of the pace last year. Right next to the ring... 18, 19, 20. Zinkin piece of eight, just as deep as the ring. Oh my goodness, they stirred this dirt up. So that, uh, there's good stuff here, obviously. You got a token and a ring pulled at the same time. So we really got to use our ears and uh, see what we get. Got something super deep. This is going to be a teller. Sounds great. Oh my God, all the way down. 1982 penny. This has been mixed. No here. Wow, this is just random detecting. <laughs> Jeff just made a great point. The good thing is that they mixed the same dirt. So, you know, it's not anything that's imported uh, with, uh, you know, rocks or, you know, it, it's uh, the original dirt. But, uh, wow, let's see what we get. This touched 28.29, so I dug it. It's a dimmy. Wow, might have something great. 34, I saw 37, 38. And this was the same hole that I just dug that dime. Yeah, it's a quarter. This is half fun, half I'm struggling right now because there's no structure to this. <laughs> Like, I don't get it. Anything can be anywhere. So you just dig, but I don't know. Like, there's a tactics. There's tactics to this that I enjoy a lot about metal detecting, and everything just went out the window. 
not everything. I mean, what's left is the ear and the eye. What I mean is, can I use the logic from target ID? And I mean, depth is out the window. And can I use my ears? Is there a slight difference in the sound of silver? I have not been able to hear it yet, but you know, I'm so new to headphones. My fastest area of growth is now ears. What you can hear is the solidness of a target. That I'm sure of. If it has iron mixed in or if there's iron that is close to it, you should be able to hear that too. But the Equinox is so darn good at isolating. It can isolate signals so well. Mind Lab programmed it so well. Whereas if you have stuff that's close, it will just, it, it'll be that key that unlocks a lock. I, th that definition makes sense to me. I don't know if it does uh, to anybody else out there. But um, I want to hear crisp, firm, repeatable signals. What you can also most definitely hear is the size of a target. There's a big difference between the little blip that you get when it is just a little, you know, those small objects that the Equinox picks up versus something that is uh, larger. Shapes. I'm starting to hear shapes, too. Uh, I tested it, different video, but uh, I tested it recently, and I was able to hear, you know, and identify, like, okay, this is different shapes, and this goes beyond the pinpointing. Sure, you could hear it when you pinpoint, but I'm starting to hear shapes. This one intrigues me, up to 29. We are on the board. Hagen does. Has been unlocked. Well, there we go. Ears and eyes. <laughs> and now we look around. Merck. 1943. There we go. That could be number 50. That's a big milestone. I'd love to get to 100 by the end of the month. Shut up and dig, Merrill. Jeez. Yeah, it would be 50 if I could count. This was number 49. So, um, nice little mark. No mint mark. Okay. Spreadsheet time. I might want to recount this, though. Uh, and we will. But uh, for, as for right now, 49. And that brings silver total for the year. 71, that's counting jewelry and uh, the coins. 1980 penny was deeper. This was uh, five, six inches down. All right, we're a few feet away from the target that I just pulled the mark. Another one very similar. This time, just a clad dime. Up to 31. Nope, dime on its side. I just got a quarter, and Jeff. Enter the warp zone. Jeff got number three. Go, Merrill, go. Oh, run. Go. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Merc. Mercantilism. Yes, sir. Number right, three? Brother. Yeah, number three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's showing 30, but a second ago, it was like 27, 28. Oh, let's see. It's a New York quarter. Look at the Statue of Liberty. Metal detector in hand. Dim, dim. It's a quarter. It's a quarter. It's a quarter. 
Tim Tim. Decided to dig up the mid-tone, dug up the sprinkler system. You know what's so weird? No Wheaties today. I usually dig up 50 Wheaties by now. 1969 Money Penny. 38, 39, 40. Pipe, never mind. Let's call one. That's what I'm looking for. And as usual, I'm wrong. <laughs> oh. Meryl, shut your mouth. You want to scream? Oh, let's look at Jeff's jug. Jeff? What the hell is this? Oh boy. Oh boy, is he? We're not in Idaho, but oh boy, is he? Please help. Me too. It's a button. That's the fanciest button I've ever seen. I think it's got it's got writing on it. Oh snap! It's around the edges. It's got writing. Laces. I mean, this makes more sense that it's a button. I don't know if that's a button. Look at that back. Baby got back. Maybe it attached to a zipper. Whoa. I don't know. It's That's pretty sick. Yeah. Nice. We gotta clean it though. Okay. Find out what's going on. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that might have some writing. You guys see it up top there? Yeah. Well, it was fun to pull. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably nothing, but... No, no. That's... Listen. If we can't identify it right away, then it's something good usually. That's a good point. And I have a lot of smart people that watch my videos. Please help smart people. You got a back like this and a front like this. Good luck with that. As for the writing on the top, this is what we saw. It says OJ. OJ, did you do this? What the what? And there's nothing even remotely close to writing anywhere else that I saw. This is the back. Help me out, smart people. Not sure what that is, but that's the first thing that just screams farm to me. You know, this was a farm site before, you know, its current state right now. So, I don't know. It's a dollar dollar. James Madison. Constitutional. One dollar. Or as they say in France, dollar. Nine inches down. Yes! Check it! Check it! Hagen does. Has been unlocked. Oh, that's a fruit. That's what? Yes. It's a standing liberty. Yes, sir. What? Yes. With a date. Oh. With a date? With a date, 1927, man. Holy crap. Look at you. Holy crap. Holy crap. <laughs> 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 well, I guess there is a deeper level here. Well, that wasn't even that bad. Yeah. No, but that, that's uh, that's pretty much the entire pinpointer down. So that's a good nine inches. Look at that. That's so cute, man. With a, With a date. date. This is the, I just counted. This, this is, is the ninth one I've ever found. This is in beautiful condition. There's a deeper level here. <gasps> yeah, there is. 
Oh, snap. You on your way out? <sighs> yeah, my daughter's uh, hearkening. I got about a few more minutes, but this is, yeah, this is an area I didn't hit yet, so. Let's hit it. Let's do it. Yeah, a few minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, here it is. Still got the dirt in it. That is in pretty good shape. Relatively speaking. That's a nice one. I know there's several variations of this. E Pluribus Unum. All right, so that's number 50 for the year. Uh, I'll spare you from the spreadsheet. Just wanted to show you the coin. It's a sitting Idaho quarter. No, it's not. Illinois. At least he's standing. Eagle selfie quarter. There's the selfie. Say cheese. Yeah, it's a quarter. Going deep again. And not the same result. Deep, uh, deep dimmy. Well, this sure rang up like half a dollar. What? Oh, this is like a Beyblade thing. Yeah, I have children. Okay, I know what this is. It's a Beyblade. It's a quarter. It's another quarter. Don't get me wrong. I like wheat scents, but I I'm welcoming today where I'm getting no wheats, a bunch of silvers. See, with me and wheat, it was just a matter of time. Looks like an older one. Cool. It's a quarter. Oh, snap. Look at this. I've never gotten a bullet like this. I've gotten the smaller version. That's awesome. That's probably from the farm era. Going deep. Going bottle cap. It's a quarter. 1947 wheat cent. 68. No, 64 penny. Maybe the remains of an old pencil sharpener? Mm. And a buried dime bag, but there's no dimes in here. 35. 31. 33. There we go. Hagen dies. Has been unlocked. Thought I saw it. Yes, I did. We are on the board again. 1917. There we go. Number three silver coin. Number four silver on the day. Oh, we were so close to uh, barberdom. 1917, I believe, 1916 was the first year of Mercury Dimes. So, we were pretty close. Oh, well. Hey, it's silver. All right, so that is number 51. We're going to recount this. We got to recount this. I think we're at 52. And 73. Boom shakalaka. Nickel. 1937 wheat cent. The bell. The bell. We have unlocked Tackle Bell. It's time to collect. Yeah, that's the fun part. What to get, what to get. In the absence of the Mexican pizza, I swear I'm not gonna go on another Mexican pizza rant. But it just, it hurts my soul. It just hurts my soul that there's no Mexican pizzas anymore. What are you doing, car? Jeez, jeez. Oh, man. This is gonna be a tough one. Do something new. Be adventurous, be adventurous. But why? Look at that. What are they doing? I mean, when you... Alright, stop, Meryl. Just... 
order your stupid tacos and shut up. Hello, I'm taco. What can I do for you? Hi, can I get one crunchy taco, uh, one bean burrito with rice? Bean burrito? Yeah, bean burrito with rice added. Yeah, rice, okay. Um, the nachos party pack, uh, whatchamacallit, can I... You know what? Actually, never mind. Um, it, 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 cherry Pepsi. What size? Uh, medium, please. Medium cherry Pepsi, okay? Yep, that's it. That's everything. Any sauce? Um, no sauce. No sauce, okay. And that's it? That's it, yep. Okay, 562 is your total then? All right, thank you. You're welcome. You can call one, though. Yeah, that nachos party pack, that, that is intriguing. But the thing is, it, oh, that cheese. No, 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 no movie theater cheese, Velveeta. Oh, hell no. Nah, nah, nah. They could put real cheese, that would be different. Okay, gotta pay. You should know I'm having a good experience with this taco. Very good experience. I don't know what they did for like a month or two, but you, you would like put a little pressure like between your thumb and the rest of your hand to hold it and it would just crack they'd use these weak taco shells the, the real tacos are back okay that's good you should also know i'm having a good experience with the burrito yep good experience with the burrito you know if my neighbors were looking at me right now they, they, They'd think I just like come home from metal detecting and like pray, you know? Anywho, let's see what we got. Boom shakalak. Still booming. Come on. Alright, here's the deal. We got this was my favorite thing today. 1927 SLQ followed by this ring. Those are my two favorites. Of course, much respect to Lady Mercury. You know, those are always great to get. We're over 50 now. So that's uh that's moving on up. This thing. What the what? Yo no say. And we got the boule. That's an old one. Ended up with four wheats. I didn't get one of them on camera. It was the last thing I pulled. Uh, just ran out of batteries. And we got $6.50 in clad plus pennies. Pencil sharpener thingy. And very little young. What a day. And look who came to bark at me. Hi, sissy. Oh, she hates me. Hi, bro. Come here. Come here. You look like you want to say hi. Come here. Come, bro. Whatever. There was a reason that the dogs were nervous. You want to tell them, Gabs? No dryer for enemy. Yeah, they're scared to death of the blow dryer, and they were about to have a... Look at what's happening. <laughs> this is your fault, you monster. Am I doing it? Yeah. You showed up and I got in the tub. Okay. Bro, I hate to break it to you. You're next. Oh, well, what's happening? I don't get it. Yeah, you can have a bath next. A bath? What's that? I'm not too bright. Oh, bro. You can't even look at me, can you, bro? Was it painful for you? Whatever, bro. Hi, bro. I love you, bro. Wish you liked me a little, a little bit more. I said a lot more. Kazanjian's signing off. Three, two, one.